wish I could have known Donnelly in this place. We would have had so much to debate. Did he paint these stones or did I? Who left the pots in the hut by the jetty? Who formed the museum under the sea? Who fell silently to his death into the frozen waters? Who erected this godforsaken aerial in the first place? Did this whole island rise to the surface of my stomach, forcing the gulls to take flight? That just made me more confused. Is he Donnelly himself? Is there some time travel stuff going on here? Are we controlling the hermit himself and he doesn't know it? And he's doing it over and over again? Probably not. It's kinda absurd. assemble our own version of the North Shore. We will scrawl in dead languages and electrical diagrams and hide them away for future theologians to muse and mumble over. We will send a letter to Esther Donnelly and demand her answer. We will mix the paint with ashes and tarmac and the glow from our infections. We will paint a moon over the Sanford Junction and blue lights falling like stars along the hard shoulder. There's just so much to go with you. I still have very little idea what's going on here. I have my guesses, but um, they could totally be wrong. So this is an island of shepherds, right? And among them, there's a hermit that quote-unquote got eaten by the valley. One who didn't eat or drink at all then throw himself up the valley and then there's some kind of infection there was also this guy called Jacobson, Jacobson, whatever that built that one shack near the top of the mountain but died a year or two after he completed building it. And then there's this Donnelly guy who seems to have... He's almost like the MC, like the one we're controlling right now. But he came here first and he was a historian or something.
Yeah, I think this is where we came from. Wait, there's someone up there, what? Hall by the roadside, by the exit for Damascus, all ticking and cooled, all feathers and remorse, all of these signals rooted like traffic through the circuit diagrams of our guts, those badly ridden boats torn bottomless in the swells, washing us forever ashore. A light from... Heaven shown around him. Shown around him. A light from heaven shown around him. Shown as in shine, <coughs> bastards. It seems to me there's an alternate route here. Let's go check this one out. It's all the same. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats, I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into twenty-one pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. 
and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. On a sudden, a light from heaven shone around him and he fell to the ground. No way. I can't see anything when I'm under water. Yo, where the fuck am I? Come back. Did I actually drown? What? I will drag my leg behind me. I will drag it like a crumpled hatchback, tires blown and sparking across the dimming lights of my vision. I'm running out of painkillers and am following the flicker of the moon home. When Paul keeled over dead on the road to Damascus, they restarted his heart with the jump leads from a crumpled hatchback. It took 21 attempts to convince it to wake up. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. In the figure that was here is gone. You know, it would be crazy if anytime now we would see someone walking down there and then it turns out that the figure that was standing here earlier was us as well. So it's just, just like some time loop happening here. No one? 
It would be interesting though. And as he was proceeding on his journey, Has come near to Damascus, I think. And he was three days. If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. Three days with uh sight and this is and neither did he eat nor drink. Yep, we already saw that one. car afterwards, hands still shaking, and a head split open by the impact. Goodbye to tearful aunts and traumatized uncles. Goodbye to the phenomenal. Goodbye to the tangible. Goodbye Wolverhampton. Goodbye Sanford. Goodbye Cromer. Goodbye Damascus. This cliff path is slippery in the dew. It is hard to climb with such an infection. I must carve out the bad flesh and sling it from the aerial. I must become infused with the very air. drunk with Donnelly or Spad Jacobson back at the sea. He had not careered across the lost shores and terminal beaches of this nascent archipelago. He did not intend his bonnet to be crumpled like a spent tissue by the impact. 
His windscreen was not star-studded all over like a map of the heavens. His paintwork etched with circuit diagrams, strange fish to call the gulls away. The phosphorescence of the skid marks lighting the M5 all the way from Exeter to Damascus. trails in the air, white lines etched into these rocks. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We have always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Come back. 